What is good guys, we are back with the World Cup and we have Mons for playing for Team France, this is RSOU and Mons is 1-0 at the moment, he played versus um, Advantage I think his first game and he did win and S. Cavalier, I think is playing for Oceania and I haven't seen him play yet I, I can't remember, I don't know, I don't think he has played yet but yeah he brings a Mm -mm. I can see that being mega slow, bro. This kind of looks like a team that Axel 10 brought in SPL, like maybe two months different. And the amount brings a really interesting looking team. Mega Guard War. So if that's Offensive Jirachi, Mega Guard War has like no switch ins. <laughs> like Offensive Jirachi can only switch into Guard War like once. Reliable. But I assume he's gonna be. Rocks Clef, uh, I don't think he's Rocks Jump on the team, so if he's Scarf, he's gonna U-turn out. I mean, if he's not Scarf, he can U-turn out too. Um, I actually wanna cut that damage at the 7% to Gliscor. Uh, that makes me think that he's... That actually makes me think that he's um, Offensive Jirachi. But yeah, Kaldius is gonna fish for the burn on the Almamola. And he's gonna go into Clefable here, because you don't want to let anything get toxic. He goes for Wish, so this is basically free stealth rocks if Clef has rocks. And he has Common, okay, so. That makes me think that he's rocks on Jump then. So this card is knockoff. And. If he has Taunt, it's gonna be nice for the Gliscor here. Because Clefable will have to calm it up again to beat this. But he just switches out into Kalia, which works if Mons um, went for SD. It covers the Mons going for SD play and also covers Mons going into Heatran play. So Kalia is a nice play. But yeah, he's just gonna fish for burn on the Alamola slash Ladi. Uh, Mons doesn't have heal bell support. I don't think he will be heal bell on God War. Mount team seems kinda slow besides potential T-Wear from this, so I could see the one of these two being Scarf. Not really sure which one. And the SKV's team, I think it's Scarf Jirachi. He doesn't get the burn. I wanted to call Jirachi versus versus Glyco, right? So yeah, Uton does 5.9 to 7 if it's defensive. Okay, so I'm actually not sure if it's defensive or offensive Rachi, but I think it's Scarf Rachi. It's just a feeling. So he went back into Clef on the Allo as the Laddie came out. So he just goes back into Jirachi on the Laddie. Mons pulls a nice double into score and yeah, we see it's probably Scarf Jirachi because he had sped this and... Like he wasn't fearing the Gliscor being faster. So this is knockoff roost earthquake. The last move is a taunt to SD. And that does nothing. So the slowbro has to mega evolve to do more damage to the Gliscor basically. Yeah, the reason he didn't do slowbro is he didn't want to let uh, Kelly take an earthquake, but he does Mega Evolve here and go for Skull. This is going to be like 60. Oh, he gets a crit, so it does 90. But yeah, I would have moved around 60. Yeah, I wanted to call Padlock. Um, but I don't know if I'm allowed to show my Discord because we might have secret information in the chat there that we were talking about. So I might have to pause the recording. In a bit and let like let call Padlob. Ricardo, how many hours till your first game? Still need to schedule. Okay, I really hope he's playing today. But he just calls again. Doesn't want to let the Glisco ruse and also can potentially get a burn. But yeah, Slope Mega Evolving means it loses regenerator.
So he does go into Clefable on the Alamomola. I think he's always kind of predicting, kind of scouting for Toxic. He's never letting his slow bro in on the Alamomola, which makes sense. So he's gonna go for Hyper Voice or Taunt, wow. I thought he would go for Hyper Voice, but he was fearing a potential Thunder Wave from Clefable, which is a fair play. And yet Jirachi is gonna go for U-Turn here, I assume. Because it's just... The guard was not gonna stay in, basically, exactly. So he can U-Turn out into Zapdos. Goes to Clefable again. Okay, okay. I mean, Clefable losing leftovers is nice for mounts. Otherwise, this would be even more annoying. He goes into Heatran and the Moonblast. And we see he doesn't have leftovers, so I think this is Scarf Trend. Some sort of offensive trend. The Moonblast did 6%. And he gets the Glisco and a double switch. Really nice play by Mount, so he gets more leftovers. Okay, so Padlop said he's building. I just paused the recording real quick. And we didn't miss any turns, thankfully. Um, yeah, he said he would be ready in 5 minutes. Um. Yeah, he's gonna switch out here. The Glisco is probably in range from a Dragon Claw. Cause it's I assume it's gonna be Spit Death Glisco, cause it took like nothing from Scald and it's just a pretty standard set in Auras. So he's gonna go Alamomola here. As the Garchomp can get up the rocks here or go for Toxic if it has that. Um how much did the kill you do to the Alamomola? I wanna figure out if it specs kill you. Wait, my dimensions just got fucked up really bad, what happened? Man, what happened to my dimensions, good lord? I really hope this doesn't influence the recording too bad. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna call, if the, my computer's gonna act like this, what the fuck? Okay, now it worked, so scald. The 23 to Alamola, I assume that specs damage. Uh, I mean, this having rocks. Yo, yeah, I already showed Scarf to Rachi, so the jump is obviously not gonna be Scarf. Um, and he finally goes for Toxic and reveals that. It was pretty obvious that he had it, he just didn't reveal it yet. And he was kind of trying to make Escavalier think that he doesn't have it, I assume. Mm. So he's gonna wish pass into Glisco or Heechon here. Um, can Glisco even switch in? Yeah, Glisco can switch in, he has to go Heechon. So he goes for a knockoff and gets rid of Choice Scarf. Yeah, see, I predicted that's correct. I don't get every set wrong. I know sometimes I get the sets completely wrong. Uh, yeah, but... Wait, what? Oh, Alexander is on. He's playing dice. No, don't play now. I mean, you can play, but after this, please. I want to record. Mm -hmm. I don't know, my dimensions got kind of messed up, I don't know what happened. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope the dimensions are fine. And I got really scared for a second. <laughs> Why is Easy asking Alexander at the gym? But yeah, he's gonna switch up between Flash Ken and it's Scarf Rock's turn, which is really interesting. So if he went for Command again with the Clefable there, it would've been really bad for Mounts. But yeah, his Scarf Rock is Taunt. I assume he's gonna have uh, Psyshock Focus Blast and Hyper Voice. Because the last move slot, it's um, either Taunt or Wolves, but kind of often on God of War. Like Wolves is sometimes used to like catch Jirachi and switch it. We finally get a skull burn, so yeah. That is kinda nice. So the Elemon is gonna wish here. I 
Um, what is he gonna switch in? The Jirachi. I think it's gonna be Healing Wish. That can help if Clefable gets weakened. Um, or like if something like Kelly gets weakened. Um, to bring it back late game. I guess he's gonna go Zapdos or Clefable, yeah. He doesn't really have the best arms. He goes Latios. I can see him going for soft bolt here, just scouting the damage in case the Ladi stays in. But he switches into Jirachi, potentially predicting the Ladi to be um, specs and go for Psyshock or Trick, I assume. So he goes with U turn out into Kelio, probably. Kelio's still at full, so you can afford to bring that in. Mm -hmm. Scarf Lava Plume is used sometimes, but I think it's gonna be Fire Blast. He goes for Hidden Power. Um, Hidden Power, I thought it predicted the Guard from there. Yeah, Kelly was pretty free. Like, the best thing Scarf then had to hit this is like Off Power, maybe? Or Hidden Power Grass, but that's not really a set. Like, just in general, this is obviously not Hidden Power Grass, just saying. But Scarf Trend could have to hit Kelly like decently hard. But yeah, um He's gonna go Allo or Lari. And he misses a hydro bomb which is annoying. Um Skull 23, the hydro bomb would have done like 30-ish percent, I think. So he brings in his Clefable. <laughs> He's gonna wish into probably Heatran again here. How much did Moonblast do to Gliscor earlier? Come on, my dimensions got messed up again. Dude, what the fuck? Stop doing this. I want my dimensions back, what happened? Yeah, I don't know if I'm still recording, like what the fuck? Yeah, it says I'm still recording, I don't know if it's recording my entire screen now. Let me pause it real quick and figure it out. So I went for comment with the cleft, the guy was gonna go for Psyshock I assume, or Taunt. Yeah, Psyshock Jirachi is gonna go for U-turn out here. Just pause it, let me just pause it real quick. Yeah, I don't know how to fix it. So he turns out the God who obviously switches an you know, molar and this is gonna give him a switch into it. <laughs> Go Fable again, kinda boring. Takes this game's gonna take a while. So he goes Zapdos this time. I don't think he's gonna go hard Gliscor, it's a bit risky because this could have something like Hidden Power Eyes. He just goes for T-Bolt, not wanting to play around with the Albumola and he gets a nice chip on the Larry. Not sure if this is Life Up or Specs Larry, but that does 51. I assume that could be Specs if this Club Fable has a good amount of speed death. Which, our last Clef usually runs some speed death. Could see that being specs and like a low roll maybe. Because 51 doesn't seem like that much damage. But it also seems like a damage boosting item because that shouldn't have done 51 to like a calm Clefable with a 
non damage boosting item basically is what I'm trying to say mm. both either going Jirachi or um, Slowbro there obviously and he's going to U-turn here so we assume we're going to see the the Alumola or the Heatron come out yep and this gives him the Kelt slash Garchomp Man, if I'm not recording, I'm really mad. I can't see my dimensions. Shouldn't have kept messing around when I knew my computer was trolling me. It goes for SD, so it's gonna be Earthquake and Dragon Claw Outrage. <laughs> Dragon Claw or Outrage? I don't know if it's Outrage because in Auras, like fairies are decently common in Auras. So you probably don't want to lock yourself into Outrage to get revenge by fairy, so I think it's gonna be Dragon Claw. Mm, I could see this being Lumberry to avoid burns. I could also see Live Orb. He didn't attack yet, so we don't know if it's Live Orb. He's just off quaking here, I assume, as he predicts that goes in a good score. A really nice play, but... I can see him going Gardevoir now, predicting a Dragon Claw. Actually, no. I think, yeah, he was just thinking that hard, going hard Gardevoir was way too risky. Yeah, hard Gardevoir doesn't do anything. Outrage is unset. Yeah, hard Gardevoir was not the play because even if he outrages, he wouldn't have been locked in if you go hard Gardevoir. But yeah, now you can go Gardevoir and click Hyper Voice and pick this off. I mean, Garchomp makes Outrage makes some sense because it hits harder versus walls. But like I said, you're just gonna get revenge by fairy, so I'm not sure how I feel about that set. And we did see he was not Life Orb, so when he killed the Gliscor, I mean the Gliscor was still nice, but he kind of had to pick a, a sack there, and he still wants the Elmola around, which makes sense with Wish support, and it kind of checks the Keld nicely. Because Laddie's kind of low, so it doesn't really want to switch into Keld. I mean, I can see him Iron Heading here because he kept U turning so far. And if Mons predicts the U turn and stays in here, it's gonna be bad for him. Like for Escav. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it like that. The short form. But yeah. I... What does he lose from going Heat Turn here? Let me think this through. If he goes Heat Turn on the U turn. You can just go Alamol on the Keldeo. Yeah, I think Heatron is a fine play for months. I mean, Heatron is getting chipped out. It's gonna be at like 54 if the rocks and then take a U turn. So, you don't, I mean, U turn doesn't do much. But yeah, just like trying to see. So, he would like have to try to wish pass to Heatron. He would have his Alamola in. <laughs> no, no, he would have. Like, never mind, he would have get to decide what he brings in. He just returns again. Yeah, I think he kinda had to make the U-turn play. But if Mon stayed in there, that would have been huge. Because he kinda had to kinda get a kill. I think he would have sacked off the Clefable. If Mon stayed in there. He's just gonna pump a Secret Sword here. Yeah, pump does a good chunk, but not enough. So Alamola can wish up. And s is gonna go back into Clefable, I assume. So I guess Mons can make a double that would cover the Clefable, which would be a double into Heatran, but the Heatran is kinda low, so it probably wishes to play. Yeah, I think it wishes to play. But yeah, if Mons wants to predict the, the Clef, the double would be God of War Heatran, but yeah. Escalf just pumped again, so he's kind of forcing this to go for protect. If this wants to stay healthy, yeah, I think he would want this healthy and go for protect here. 
So I'd go Clefie under Protect and then go for Soft Boil. But then the God of he turn would come and that's definitely a bit annoying. I think Mons is in a slightly better position. Dude, I'm gonna be so mad if my screen is not recording. He goes into a Latios. Which um, would have came in on the Hydro Pump. And it also would, would have been able to kill the Clefable from the range it's at. So I can understand the play, but he did go into Jirachi. Which did. What did he predict there? Not really sure, because if the Almola went for Protector, Jirachi didn't really help him. Because even if this has Trick to cripple the Almola. I don't know, maybe he predicted the the, the Lari slash Gardevoir. But yeah, if he just went for Protected, this play doesn't work out at all because the Al Almola could have gone for Protect again. See what the Jirachi locks itself into. And if the Jirachi went for Trick to Cripple the Aloe, it could, it could like, Mons could act accordingly. Mm, so I'm not really sure what this. And he must have had predicted a switch. Otherwise, this doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> yeah, this is tough for us, Cavalier, because if you don't see, he doesn't have good switch instead. Like, it's kind of 50 50 because. Like Draco would obliterate Slowbro, um, Zapdos and Kaldio obviously, and it's like, like it's basically between do you go Slowbro or do you go Clef, the other two months are obviously no switch in anyway. But oh he switches into Thunders on the U-turn, that's interesting, I thought he could have stayed in there because Lali can love U-turn, and if he goes predicts the Clef he can Psychic and kill that, and if he predicts the Slowbro he could Draco. So if he predicted correctly, they would have gotten a kill. But I can understand Mounts' play in the I can understand his play in the sense that the Almola is really low. It's at like forty something, and after Rocks, it's at like thirty something. Um, which would generate a cocked in. But so the Almola being kind of low means he doesn't have a good Kelly switch in, which is why he kept his uh, Ladios healthy. I can understand that. I guess yeah. So he's leftovers, I assume there's gonna be some Volt Switch. Maybe Volt Switch Incinerate set that I've been running around seen running around, HP Ice and Thunder Wave. Yeah, Zapdos can just go for T Bolt here. Um Lari can come in though, so maybe that's not the play. Mm -mm, the thing is if this has Volt Switch is Thunderous. Mons is just in a really good position because of the zap to stay in you just volt switch into Lari and if this switches out you just get momentum so that's why volt switch is pretty cool like it's just like you turn like you know these momentum moves can be really stupid to play against because you can't double switch because they're just gonna get momentum if you like to switch versus those specific moves the fuck happened yeah I was trying to like fix the dimensions but it doesn't seem to work dude if I, if I have to re narrate over this recording I'm gonna be so mad the quality might be really bad I've had this happen once to me where it was like recording the entire screen the quality got kind of bad from the recording. I hope this doesn't happen this time, but yeah, I've talked enough about that. Um, this is a tough spot for SGAF, especially if this has Volt Switch, like I mentioned. Um, like, it's not that Escavalier has a switch in, like, he brought the Zapdos in on the Sunderers. 
So he doesn't seem to have Volt Switch on the Sunrise. He goes Hard Garawa, which is, I don't know if I would have made that play. Probably would have gone Larry instead. Because T Bolt 2 it KOs the Gardevoir. Unless he gets like a low roll on the next T Bolt. It's called Padlob, I guess. Oh my lord, that is so much. So he does not get the roll here. So Mons is gonna kill the Zapdos with another Hyper Voice. Shirachi is gonna click U turn here. Oh, he can also go to Caldeo. But the amounts pretty much wins at this point, so it doesn't really matter. Like, she goes Kelio and kills this, then Laddie comes in and gets a kill, kind of. I mean, he still has to be predict between those two months. But Mons is definitely in a good position. Like, he just. He won't choke, I know he's good. Like. Yeah, it looks like Mount Catch is a W. Jirachi can solo. Um, yeah, Jirachi can potentially solo, but. As long as Sunrise is alive with Thunder Wave, it can threaten the Jirachi and. Heatwin would have to get flinched like multiple times, but yeah, it's a Jirachi. But Alamomola being burned and kind of low, that's actually kind of true. That Jirachi can solo, so. Nice. <laughs> Maybe you are trying to give me some hints there how Escavalier could win, so appreciate that. <laughs> But he chooses the Jirachi play, which is... Maybe he's just gonna go for Iron Head, like IBR suggested in the chat, and try to flinch everything. But yeah, otherwise he's gonna go U-turn to what though? Like, the Garawa dies to rocks, and I don't think he's gonna get an opportunity. I don't even know if he has Divock on his Lari. Yeah, probably has Divock because he has a Sunday. And Spikes would also be a bit annoying versus him, yeah. I mean, they only hit half the, they only hit half the team, but still. Like, I don't really see why he would. I don't see why he would save this. Yeah, okay, so you see Jan out, but... To what? <sighs> the club failed, so... If he goes to... Laddie here still has to predict because Psychic will let the Slowbro come in. He could go from Alamola to Heatran, but that's probably not the play. I mean, he would get some Regenerator, but Clefable would get to heal up. And I don't think he can afford the Clefable to heal. I really think I'm not recording the entire screen. This is make this this is making me go insane. Are we allowed to post Dockridge puns in here? 
fuck Padlob, hello? He goes slow, but in the psychic gets it correct. No speed death drop. So he can slack off here. Mount is gonna go out of Mola or Thunderous. I guess this game is not over yet. <laughs> Man, I'm so mad. Like, show me my dimensions. Where the fuck are they? Like, I don't get it, dude. Like, what? Okay, I unpaused the recording. We got Young Padlop now. <laughs> I hope the dimensions are fine, man. This is making me fucking go insane. I'm gonna get free dislikes because I talk about this the entire video. <coughs> Because I wanted to do a calc and, and I did um, control F or however you call that to see the moves. Yeah. Oh, he went for side shock. I thought he would. Oh, so he predicted the hard thunderous. Because. Uh, um, no, this yeah. much that he can, no, actually, no, he can't set. But now his slow bro is low as fuck because if he stays in, yeah, he's gonna get. Just a, no, 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 no. This is a free skull for slow bro IMO. I mean, like, if he stays you in. Have to, you have to, you have to get the thunder somehow. If he stays Otherwise, in, he's gonna get toxic on a slow bro. I mean, slow bro's not healing on anything anyway at this range, other than Alamola. Did he go with Clefable? Okay, just. Oh, he went for Sky Shock. Wait, wait, that that was weird. That was weird. Yeah, I think I he predicted uh, toxic. Wanted to kill the Alamola, but yeah, it was weird. Yeah, I, I would have scalded there. If you're pretty bloody, that's that's your thing, I guess. Um. I guess he can go Clefable here, but in a drill. Oh! Mode. Well, this Call Mines now, does it, does it win oh. the Call Mine up? No, I think that may be Scarf, like the way he played it. Yeah, um, he was Scarf Heatron, I don't think the lot he's Scarf. Oh, n n then Specs, but it's definitely Choice. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. I, I said Specs earlier. Because I did 51 to Clefable, and Clefable runs um, like common auras, right? Most of the time. Dude, that is. As that, that's suddenly not looking good for fucking mounts anymore. Look at ABR. Look at ABR in the chat. No, Jirachi doesn't auto win. Because he got rid of the rocks or what? <laughs> Probably because he got rid of the rocks. So he's gonna switch out into Clefable here if you're in a toxic. And I can see mounts predicting the Clefable here. Actually, is, is, is Slowbro faster than. Slowbro is slower. Uh, yeah, slower, slower. Unless he's running a oh. ton of speed. If there's, <laughs> if there's just a black screen because the dimensions are fucked up, <laughs> it's gonna be three thumbs down. I mean, you can you can check afterwards, so yeah. Yeah, I have to re it if it doesn't work and it's annoying as flip. Because I have another um, game from Greece from like two days ago that I want to re -narrate. from. Yeah, two days ago. Yeah, I would always yeah. go Clefable. Um, Cause it's so risky for monsters to not toxic. Cause if he doesn't toxic and the Slowbo kills this, yeah, it's over. It's, it's pretty much bad a wrap. Then, yeah. Um. What the fuck, yeah, dude? Yeah. No. Yeah, I don't get that. Oh, one. oh, I see, I see. No, no, I see what he's trying to do here. I see what he's trying to do. He's yeah. trying to win with Kel at the end because Kel the Scarf. Kel the No, no, never. Never mind. Kel, Kel the Scarf. Kel the I Specs, but. Oh, Specs, because it did a lot with Hydro Pump, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's most likely Specs, but still. He was Scarf like, Jirachi. I think, oh, he I think, Scarf I think Jirachi. He with, I think he either wins with, like, Rachi or. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's Specs. Yeah, yeah, the well. laddie is specs. That, that I knew that earlier in the recording. I said that because they did so much to Clef. Yeah, but but, but the thing is, the thing is now, um, he just like. So Rachi he U turns free here. Rachi, free Rachi and gets a free U turn. I think. Yeah, but the rocks being gone is nice for Thunderous, I guess. Oh, that's why IBR said. The... Never mind, never mind. Thunder wins now. I think. That's why IBR said no. Jirachi doesn't auto win because the rocks are gone for Thunder. For the Iron Head thing. And it also helps Heatran, because like, 
He has to get even more flinches with rocks gone. Yeah. Uh, isn't Tren lefties? Tren was scarf. It got knocked off, I think, earlier. Oh. Did it get knocked off? Let me see. I mean, it wouldn't yeah, really matter. Yeah, Clefable used knock off on turn 22 on the choice scarf trend. And it was rock scarf trend. <laughs> Wild. Uh, so like, mounts you turn. Uh, no Mount switches to thunder here, right? If anything, mounts. Oh, uh, I think it's gonna go thunder. into. He ran no thunders, but. Like, no, I mean, there's only two months to switch. Like, he ran. He ran, in my opinion, is never the play. Yeah, but if you go Thunderous. There's actually. Thunderous wins, like, why would you go hard in? Um. I guess it doesn't really thing, matter unless the Jirachi goes for Ice Punch like, Freeze. You wanna, you wanna get a kill, that's I mean, it thing. doesn't. They don't run Ice Punch, they run U turn Iron Head. I assume he and, and, and Hard Stamp. Also, also, yeah, yeah, but. but Wait, what but, the fuck? But Couldn't he have won with Mega Slow, bro? Problem, actually. Couldn't he have won if he, like, Healing Wish this Mega Slow, bro? Oh, he can, he can win here if Healing Wishes is Clefable, can he? Um, I, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I if think the, might be the best If option. Clefable gets up one call mind, it probably beats Heatran if Heatran doesn't get Flash Can drops or crits. I assume it's gonna be Flash Can because it's Scarf Train. Yeah. Yeah, I think Clefable can still win, but the lefties being knocked on the Clef is really huge, otherwise this Clef would be so big here. Mm -hmm. I think I think he's healing wishing and if you go <laughs> Who else loves no timer games? I mean he could healing wish, yeah. He could but it wouldn't do any uh, or actually it would do something but wait. Wait, never mind. Um what he could do is like sack the th no, but then he loses to to kill. Yeah, it's really shitty, really shitty position. Um, I think he has to so go. like Rachi Rachi can healing wish into Clef, and there is nothing Mons can do about that. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about. I mean, healing if he has T wave on Thunderous, he can go Thunderous. I I mean, if you predict that, yeah, and if you're a nasty plot, sure, but. Other no, than no, that? He's gonna, no, no, he's not SDP. He's, I think he's the Volt Switch HP I said because he showed leftovers. Oh. Oh, never mind. Did, did he, what did he use was a Zapdos? Oh, no, he, he had switched into Gardevoir, so he can't be Volt Switch. Yeah, so then never mind. Um, but he was leftovers. I mean, he can still be yeah, nasty maybe, plot. Maybe, maybe, he's lefties, maybe he's lefties nasty plot. But when I saw lefty plot, I was thinking about that set that Steve Angelo used. The thin and red one. <laughs> I mean, come on, bro, make him. So, T Wave is busted anyway, so like, T Wave on Sunrise is enough to beat Clef. <laughs> mod, death, no mod chat. <laughs> Why is Easy set to troll and smoke to his Pokey M joint? Easy was warned by tricking. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so he's gonna save the healing wish, I guess, for later. Not sure. Who said misclick? Oh, he misclicked the warning. Oh, he did U turn. Hmm. Wait, so. If Sunrise kills it with T Bolt, he can just do that. Yeah, but Sunday does kill it with T Bolt. That's the problem. What? Did you say it doesn't or did? No, no, it, it should, it should. I mean, if it's left over. Unless it's, unless it's like, unless it's like not max max. No, because everyone's like, some... they run like 96 calm, I think. Or 84 calm, Thunderous. Uh, t bolt does uh, 32 to 39. That's nothing. Oh, so... If it's the yes. calm spread. But Specs Larry Drake that, would 51, so I can calc that real quick. How much that would do? Uh, Psychic, I mean, Psychic does 51 to 60 and did 51. So I assume this Clefable is a bit more fist death. 
So I assume the roll is like 35 to 42, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so then he has to go for T-Bow here. If it's max max, it kills. Oh yeah, you can't even T-Wave the clef. I was talking about T-Waving clef, but it's already poisoned. Battle rich. Fuck. It's already toxic, yeah. Wait. So he didn't go into heat turn because he didn't want to give the kill deal switch in, I guess. And it doesn't get the roll. Whew. Clefable is showing why it's busted and he's gonna softball it again here. Unless he gets a crit. So. What is his play now? Go heat run, go for flash. Oh my god! Go heat this run. Is so <laughs> fucking lame for mounts. Go heat run and try to crit this or go for the T bolt crit. Ooh, it is not nice Oh, he is that. Yeah, see, 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 I'm this, saying, I'm saying. Then it's not over yet. So I was saying, I was this saying. He's gonna do 70, 74. And if he. he got the drop, I mean, but the drop doesn't, doesn't matter. matter still and he kills. Three lefties. This is interesting now. This yeah. is really interesting. So this is to... kind of like a 50 52. <laughs> he has I to guess. flinch. He has to flinch. This doesn't have T wave. It's probably. It's probably. I don't know if Mount stays in though. Mm. I think he could go Tran. I mean, that doesn't matter. He said, okay, Jirachi. He's just. He's... I mean, it, it kind of it kind of does. It kind of does because. Oh, he's going um... for a game. He's just flinching the Tran five, six times or eight times. Yet enough. <laughs> I mean, if you U-turn on, like, if you miraculously predict him to switch into Tren and U-turn, you still get a kill, and then your odds are a lot better to win the game. I mean, if he has, if he has T-Wave, I think he's just gonna click it, but I could see his being three attacks on the... Yeah, yeah. And if it's T-Wave, it, it wins either way, so... Like, what would a third attacking well, move be? But I don't think, I don't think anybody runs fucking... Uh, nasty plot thunder wave, uh, thunderbolt HP ice. I don't think that's a set. What else is the last move incinerate? Um, focus blast. Ooh. I have, I have seen nasty plot T wave before. And there's only one button error with Jirachi. <laughs> Wait, what is saying Go Mariano? Oh, that's a Gen 3 game. Wait, I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe that's the guy's name. Oh, it's M Dragon. What the fuck, Mariano. the boys? Dude, he's gonna freeze this. You already know. I was talking about Ice Punch earlier, and I said they don't run. See, exactly. Punch. That's why. That's why I would have maybe U turned. No, I said they don't run Ice Punch, but he has Ice Punch. Um, so he's gonna go for the freeze here. <laughs> or, I mean, there's a twenty percent the chance, right? Or, or yeah, yeah, twenty percent chance with the screen. Grace. I'm not sure if you would go for the freeze or if you would go Keldeo. Is this a 50-50? Every turn is a 50-50. No, 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 like, um, what what I, what I was saying is he could have U-turned. Um, and then, like, Escavalier didn't lose anything. Like, if he went, if he went for U-turn on the train, he got a kill either way. And if he stayed in, like, yes, he would have sacked the Keld. But then the game would have still been, uh... Like, Come down to do I flinch, flinch yeah. the Thunny plus the Tran down? Which is so like, like, pretty unlikely to get both down. I don't, I don't think, I don't think U-Turn, like, was a wrong play. I think U-Turn was 100% the right play to make there. I don't think Mons would go into Sandra's here, but the Kaldeo, that's a bit wild. But if, if, uh... Scavalier is able to get the freeze, uh, that's absolutely huge for him. Like, that wins him the game. Yeah, I don't know. He might just go for the hex. That's why it's too risky to double into Sandy. Because if you double the Sandy on the Ice Punch, you just lose. Yeah, he's 100% going for the hex here. Like, I'm not sure. Oh my god, I, don't, I would not want to play. I would close my eyes and I would throw a coin and then decide my play. <laughs> JK, JK. No, 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 I would have I would have U-turned right there, then went kill, then got the kill, then ice punched. Win the game. It worked, um, but what if he stayed in with Sandy? Yeah, then you sacked the kill and then you went for hacks. <laughs> no, it's pretty unlikely that you get that hacks, but I guess it works. 
it, I, don't, I don't think Escavalier lost much from, like, you turning there. But he did. Damn. They even but sing. what he could still do, like, Keldeo takes a hit, right? Um, yeah, it he does. Could, like, yeah, he could hard Keld. That's and what I'm thinking try. if he goes Thunder with you, but it's so risky. What's the purpose of no timer for this? He said, okay, Rachi, then he clicked Ice Punch, and then nothing happened. Hmm. What is the Keldat? Is the Keldat full? 70. Is that in the Estus chip too? Like, that th that them saying it in the Estus chat, I was like, it's not really ghosting, but it's like, like, I know that Mons can just hover over the kill and see the health, but it's kind of helping him. Like, some, like, some, like, people would, like, say, let me mute you real quick for saying the health. <laughs> like, someone just said, someone mentioned the other day, like, everyone knows that you um, will go for off on Heatron, but even saying that is, like, not allowed in the smoke twist chat. Because before it happens. <laughs> so he made the double. He oh, the double. god. Go. Go. So if this is not recording. On... Oh, just finished rendering and recording World Top 10 Part 2. Young Pokey aim in the cut. So yeah, this thunderous. He has to go for Iron Heads now. Or he has to go for Ice Punch Freeze on Heatran. What is a higher chance? I mean, same same situation, same situation. He goes for Iron Head Flinch, gets a crit into Get the crit, get the flinch. So he needs um he needs another flinch so here that doesn't he, kill he without the couple, crit. The couple, the couple. GG it's Mount. <laughs> GG It's Envy. Mount picks up the win for Team Front. No 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 it's Mount. It's not Envy, it's Mount. <laughs> and yeah, Escav was on Team Oceania, they haven't been doing too well. And I'm gonna check this recording now, dude. If the screen is black, I'm gonna punch someone. <laughs> Why is mod set off? <laughs> no one cared. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, if I, if I have. Uh, I'm sound like pissed because if I have to re narrate this. Whew. Um, The next game is, I think, in like a few hours. I mean, there's a Gen 3 game going on. But I got it. No, I know nothing about that, and it's all about to end anyway. When, when, when fucking Pokemon compliments uh fucking BKC on his videos. Good lord. Goodbye. I don't know why I'm still recording. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>